I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time for another Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon netcast. And we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. I'm so glad you could join us this week. I have my tablet here with me. And, of course, many other good things that we're going to talk about. The first item on our list is that the drbill.cc, which of course is the URL I'm putting up right here, D-R-B-I-L-L dot C-C for computer curmudgeon, of course. Site videos are changing. The website videos are changing. Are they all going to become reruns of Mickey Mouse? No. <laughs> the format is changing. I've changed them all to where there'll be WebM video. Now, here's the thing. I'm going through and I'm retro fitting, retrofitting, not quite. I'm retranscoding the video. Yes. Which by the way I'm doing on my Linux laptop using FFmpeg, which is awesome. Command line, dude. Anyway. I'm issuing a command line command that will convert the M4Vs to WebM video. Prior to this, I was using the firefog.org, I'll put that up here too, application, which allows you to transcode video through the web and a Firefox extension. However, now using FFmpeg, I can tweak, I can tweak it better so that I can see exactly, you know, tailor it to what I want it to be. And the reason I'm doing that is to make the WebM videos web specific, meaning a 640 by 360 aspect ratio, which still gives me 16 by 9, but will allow the files to be much smaller, much more compact, like the last netcast where I said I was munching it in a bunch of compression and, 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 well, something like that. Anyway, I know that's all highly technical, but you're, it's okay. This is a technical show. So, you, I just want you to know these things. So now when you download the WebM video, well, as soon as I get all this transcoding done, uh, which I'm getting nearly ready to finish, when you download the WebM video, you will have a much smaller file to download, which will be a good thing. Yes. Now, before I forget, we need to mention our awesome sponsor, Mosey Pro, Mosey Pro for Business. Now, it's called Mosey Pro for Business, technically, but you can use it at home. They won't mind. It's okay. So you can use it at home, and you can back up your files, and therefore you will have them protected up in the cloud, the fluffiness of the cloud, and it's so comfortable there. And you can have them protected, and it's an awesome thing because... At some point, sadly, your hardware may give out on your computer and your hard drive fail. Ooh, I don't even want to think about it. But at least the files are protected up in the cloud and you can retrieve them through all kinds of different platforms because there are Mosey Pro clients for all kinds of things and you can download them and get them back. But in order to do that, you got to sign up for Mosey Pro. So go to Mosey Pro, which is mosey.com slash pro, and you can sign up for a special 15% off. Dude, 15% off by using the code word podcast15. So take advantage of this. You will be glad you did when your hard drive goes, eh, and yet you still have all your files. Ha ha ha! You have thwarted the evil machinations of the evil machination dude. Yes. Okay. 
I don't know what that meant. I make it up as I go along. Okay. A Star Trek medical tricorder? Question mark? Yes. There are so many Star Trek devices that are becoming real. Why not Dr. McCoy's tricorder? Dude. And I have a picture in the blog, the aforementioned drbill.cc blog, where you can actually see Dr. McCoy's official tricorder. Now, I got to admit, it looks rather old and fuddy-duddy now. You know? But boy, back in the 60s, that looked cool. <laughs> anyway, the point is, there are two different companies. One has a, 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 one is a company that's called Scanadu. Scanadu, yes. And the other one is Sinstore. Both of these are developing medical tricorder handheld devices that will be able to read you and find out whether, you know, you have something that should be dealt with medically. It's pretty cool stuff. And it's another case where Star Trek has predicted the future and has given us, you know, I mean, originally they gave us like cell phones. We could click them open and talk and stuff. Well, they call them communicators, but you get the idea. All kinds of cool Star Trek technology. Who knows, one day we'll be beaming places. Actually, I think I'm a little like Dr. McCoy there. I don't think I want to go beaming around because the whole idea is they dissolve all your molecular structure, transmit it somewhere, and then re in whatever it. Put it all back together. Seems like in the process you'd be dead. Just saying. Anyway, this is an article cross-posted from the Handheld Hack, the other blog, one of the other blogs that I do. And it's about a handheld device. Well, this is about a handheld device. This is, of course, my tablet. It's not an open source tablet, although it's as close as you can get because this is a ViewSonic G tablet. And what I did is I hacked the operating system and put the open source version of Gingerbread. I had to think a minute on that, which one it was. The Gingerbread version of the Android operating system on this tablet. So it's kind of open source. Well, this one that it's talking about here in the article is a truly open source tablet. And as I say here, it will sell for $260. It will run Linux. And I want one because I like to play with these things. So uh, KD hacker Aaron Sego uh, has developed this and it's called the Spark. It uses the community driven spinoff of the Mego operating system called Mir, Mir, M-E-R, Mir, as its OS with KDE's cool plasma active user interface on top of it so that it has a cool interface. Now the particulars of this tablet is that it's a seven inch screen like my Kindle Fire. It has a one gigahertz ARM processor, not dual processor, only one. It has 512 meg of RAM, 4 gig of internal memory, and a Mali 400 GPU. It's speculated that the Spark is a rebranded Zenithink slate, which if true would mean the screen resolution is a mere 800 by 400. Eh. Anyway, it's an open source tablet. How cool is that? Cool. I'm telling you. Now, the next thing I want to talk about, of course, is another awesome sponsor, and that is GoToMeeting. GoToMeeting with HD Faces. I'm talking 16 by 9 aspect ratio if you have an appropriate webcam that will do HD. And it will allow you to communicate with folks wherever they are, literally in the world, and you can have a meeting with them and show screens, and show slideshows, and do all kinds of collaboration right across the interwebs. How cool is that? So go to this special URL right here, and, and matter of fact, I will give you an even better special URL in just a second. But when I do, write it down, transcribe it, or you can go to my blog, drbill.cc, and click on the link there, and you'll be able to get a full 30 days free of go-to meeting with HD faces. Awesome. 
awesome deals here. I'm telling you, you need to take advantage of these special deals because they're special. I'm just saying. Anyway, here's the special bit.ly URL right here. Okay, can you write that down? Write it down, yeah, okay. Or like I said, you can just go to the drbill.cc website and click on it directly there, but it will take you to the GoToMeeting offer and assure you of getting that 30 days free. So do that and you will not regret it. I'm telling you. All right, next item here. The new Skype version offers full HD calling and group screen sharing. Now, Skype, I use Skype. I have a Skype name, so to speak, uh, which is, of course, D-R-B-I-L-L-B-A-I-L-E-Y, -L -L -E like it says here. That's also my Twitter handle, at D-R-B-I-L-L-B-A-I-L-E-Y, -L -L -E like it says there. Have you noticed a pattern? Yes. Anyway, so I use Skype, and I talk to folks, and I do um video conferencing kind of with it i recorded the videos and all that kind of stuff but they've never been able to be in hd until this brand new version version 5.8 software and it came out um february 3rd i believe i think which is just a day or so ago as i record this and it brings some notable features full hd video calling provided you have a suitable webcam of course and an internet connection of course. Uh, video calling to Facebook users regardless of whether they have Skype installed or not. Pretty cool. Uh, group screen sharing which will let folks share either their entire desktop or a single application with other participants in a conference call. That last feature is only available with Skype Premium though. So just saying. Other new features include a push to talk option that will let you set up a hotkey to trigger your microphone for, for multiplayer gaming for instance and the ability to hide offline Facebook contacts uh, and one possible fruit of the Microsoft acquisition, the Bing toolbar integration. Bing! <laughs> yeah, well, I just had to do the sound effect. You know what I'm saying? Whoa! <laughs> Shocking! <laughs> That's the drum roll for the Geek Software of the Week. Geek Software of the Week this week is... Are you ready? It is an interesting, interestingly named program, I must say. It is Cy Software's Sandra. Yes, like the girl's name, Sandra Light. Now, this is the light version. This is the free version. They have, a, they have several levels of paid-for versions that you can get. But Sandra stands for System Analyzer Diagnostic and Reporting Assistant. Get it? Sandra. And it is an information diagnostic utility and also will check out your hardware of your PC and it will do, it will give you information about your CPU, your chipset, your video adapter, your ports, your printers, your sound card, your memory, your network, Windows internals, AGP, PCI, PCIe, ODBC connections, USB 2, 1394, FireWire, etc. <laughs> I'm tired of reading all that off anyway. And it works for 32-bit Windows as well as 64-bit Windows, as well as Windows CE, smartphone, and says they have a Windows CE Pocket PC version as well. Lots of stuff. So, a uh, list of modules. I don't know if I want to go over the entire list of modules. Let me just hit a few high spots. System summary, main board, chipset, system monitors, info, CPU, BIOS, basically all the various functions of your computer. It will give you that information and it will exercise it so that you can test it. The whole idea is testing, testing and information. So, pretty cool Geek Software of the Week. You may have been building a PC and need this kind of information and, and want to do some testing. This is a good way to do it. So, check it out. Got a link here in the blog, which will take you to this site where you can download the free edition. It's a very strange URL. SISIsoftware.net whack whack question mark D equal D load ampersand F equal swear spelled S-W-A-R-E, not swear as in, I don't know, 
swearing, no. Underscore D-O underscore 3264 ampersand L equal E-N ampersand A equal. Sure. <laughs> Just go to my blog and click on the link. It's a whole lot better than trying to figure all that out. This will give you the download sites for the light version, which is the free version. And you know I'm all about the free. I like the free. So anyway, that's our show for this week. Abbreviated, but lots of good information and stuff you need to know. That's what we're all about here at Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon, is bringing you stuff you need to know with a little, little bit of funny. <laughs> A little bit of funny. Yes. Not to mention furriness. Dude. Okay. So, remember until next time that the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a production of DrBillBailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.